Welcome back. I like this. I mean, I, I think T1 Strife is really solid. I really like this Legion Commander. Not a great case for Bengal here so far. No. No, he's trying though. He might kill Chuvash for this. Savage. Oh, there's a swashbuckle level two, so no lucky shot just yet. We hit with a Mystic Snake. That's gonna be enough. Uh, now they're a bit weaker. Nice, nice wow, evasion though. Going by. crazy on Lina here. Yeah, PZM. There's Carl. They hit him though with that solar bind. The Lumen is gonna hit as well, but the Laguna Blade will get rid of BZM. God. And Carl showcasing who the true DT is as they actually slow down Fishman thanks to the shield crash, and that's gonna guarantee the Dragon Slave to finish him off. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reported my support faceless void. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Best meme. Oh, look at Carl's rotation. That's actually waiting in the trees. And Chu. He's gonna hit uh, Laguna's blade. He's going to die here. Carl, however, stun. They hit him with the Earth Spike, though. They have a chance to turn this around onto BZM. They do slow him with the Hex on top of that, but Carl will fall here as BZM is trying to get away. He is being hit by Cuckoo, who has no duel, but will be able to kill him just with auto attacks. Cuckoo could be in trouble, swallows the whole Illuminate. Amar stuck in the trees, but Amar still with three points in Dragon, but won't fall to a Legion Commander. Okay, more shield crashes. He actually does not take too much damage because of the shield crashes. They're rolling thunder. Look at Zephyr. He oh. wants Amar. But Amar, he might see this as an opportunity to kill Zephyr. We'll see. Blinding light, like pushing him back. Zephyr, that rolling thunder is about to end. But Amar has no blink dire counter initiate. And there's a Dragon Tail for the Lina this time. Do they have any follow-up? They don't. And Amar could be in trouble as they hit him with a duel. Laguna Blade on top of that. Amar will fall. And they catch Fishman as well. Nice little chain stunning there from the line, Lina. And then they get two free kills there. No BKB on this van, though. I'm not sure about this fight. Who needs BKB? Oh. Duel goes through it, Bowie. And so does the <laughs> Crystalis knows. He's ready. God strength. 23 Savage. Oh, that's why he needed the BKB. Now he's afraid of the Fango. He's afraid of the line, too. And they actually left the poor PCM God behind. He's going to die. They're going to smoke it. They can maybe back oh, around the Dusa and, and go somewhere else. That's how they win this fight. That was a very odd choice by Savage. You saw the oh. maze like all how to clear it. Alright, we hear the god strength. They want to go in and they actually go in from the back line. Sorry, finishing off here. Cuckoo. So they got rid of Cuckoo. Now Stonegate can still save the Dusa, but she doesn't have her help, which means that they keep her stun. Uh, they won't be able to get rid of that Stonegate though just yet. Carl is keeping the enemy team mid laner at bay. Crystalis also in trouble. There's a rolling thunder. They keep him in stun. Look, Una Blade's too much damage and Crystalis will fall. At least they can bring down Whitemon with it. And maybe if they can get Carl as well. Not that bad when he's trying to save his teammate with that stone gate. It's not going to be sufficient as nobody gets turned to stone. Instead of Zephyr is slowing them down. And hopefully with the damage from Carl, they can, or damage from Savage, they can bring down the mid laner. But... Uh, because yeah. of that, DK actually has to go Halberd instead of the BKB. So he can cancel out Lincolns and also get something against Dusa as they kill Fishman who's trying to defend the lane. This is And this time I think they have to kill like pretty much everyone but the Dusa. Then he's cutting uh, the wave metal, but you know they're top, so I don't think this accomplishes that much. Eighth remnant for the Legion. They smoke up, maybe hoping for a wraparound. The backdoor protection's right. down, Savage takes it. Oh, the and now he's looking of so course for the good. main racks. Oh, no, this one. is a good wraparound though by Creepwave. They go for call. The brick is Lincoln's, but the BKB. Well, actually, the, the press attack shard will actually save him. Now he activates the BKB. We do stun up BZM, but BZM now getting hit by the duel. Thanks to that talent. Do they have enough damage to bring him down in the duel? They will. However, at the expense of Cuckoo, who gets destroyed by Crystalis. From behind, we still left the Dusa here, who's destroying poor Amar. He's not able to last this long enough. Carl is capable of getting away with a nice little stun. We got a Stormhammer, though, but the Lincolns will prevent that from being impactful. Savage, slowed but still powerful, can't be brought down, and he stays near the enemy base. He wants to keep pushing. However, we do not have... Any help from the rest of the team? Savage. All right, he's just gonna be the the one man tank, a one man stop for everything. Nobody can face Savage right now. They're gonna wait for Lion and Cuckoo to come back here. Yeah, this is looking, uh, this is looking really grim. They're gonna try and wrap around again. Oh, okay, oh, one more time. They kill the Pango, but they didn't get Carl. Once again, is Savage left alone? But you gotta kill Savage. His team is not even near him anymore. You can't do nothing it. Nothing to do against him. No one can kill the Dusa. Savage. Oh, there's the God Strength. Oh. Go in, attack the Lina, save once again, but they press the attack. With that shard, they actually duel him, trying to what? stop the Sven. That's gonna be what? a dead Cuckoo. 
but is that going to turn into a kill for Crystalis? That would be worth it with a finger of Death Laguna Blade. He does go down. They also almost bring down the Void Spray. They need a little bit more area damage, and they will get the Hex, even if they miss the Light Strike Array. Amar fighting alone, but without his damage in course, he's doing nothing, and the GG is called. Creep Wave wants out, and they will get it, because T1 is just too powerful. Medusa is a hero in the video game Dota 2, and she is just that easy to play. I just feel like Creep Wave Draft is better, and uh, this might be a 1-1, one -one, considering the draft. Just yet. Which, by the way, he's gonna suffer. There's the Fissure. We have a Brain Sap as well. Body block by Fishman, not too successful. Still can use the Brain Sap, a little bit of extra Ooh. damage, and Cuckoo is going to die. First Blood going the way of Creep Wave into the game, but he's not gonna be enough to kill off White Mon just yet. He's actually just gonna Maybe dive go. going for the MP. They use the Ghost Ship, Cuckoo is gonna be sunk down to the depths of the ocean. This is the second rotation uh, where he goes to a lane. Oh, and he might die. Oh no. Oh, the ghost ship. Chuvash. And he's trying to get the Fissure damage. They're trying to kill off Carl. They get both at the same time, thanks to the double damage. They even killed Zephyr in the bottom lane. Spike Carpus level one, not good enough for the stun. There he's done the double damage. There. He wants one last Tidebringer. He will get it, but Hansha, or PCM rather, put himself in a really precarious position now. I just need one more stun, that's gonna guarantee the kill. And they also get Chuvashu in the back lines. Or we're gonna see a smoke, rather, because you don't hear these. These are silent, much like White Mon, silent but deadly. Can he get the kill on Chu? It's gonna go for the easy one. Chuvash is down. And maybe Amar as well, but VZM is here to join him. He has the Shadow Blade, catches up to Carl, sets up the torrent, so has the ghost ship. Oh, never mind. Can't use either, because Carl has a Yulsa throw already, stuns himself, BZM still hasted, Carl just dying to the timber saw at this rate. He doesn't activate the ball kick, gonna die to the Tidebringer cleave there. Fishman still has that Fiend's Grip. Nightmare first, that's gonna set up for the Ghost Ship. And at this rate, they're gonna catch two cores relatively easily. Creep Wave leaving no survivors, in fact, they want a third one, it's gonna be Zephyr, but they can't get off the Fiend's Grip in time. They're biting a bit more than they can chew, or perhaps not, perhaps BZM. Is too good. They actually position themselves nicely to kill the Nyx. Can they do so though? Three Four. seconds. Yep, that's gonna second. Set it up. That's three seconds, oh. but he lost his first life. Now he's out of position though. They can punish this. Fisherman can't help him out with a nightmare. Gonna keep coming back. The four staff of the Hurricane Pike rather to get away. And the Echo Slime to reinitiate. But they don't have enough damage for the Dusa just yet. They're just trying to stop him from hitting. Fisherman will die for sure. Crystal is trying to get away. Avoid split Earth from Carl. And Carl now has been hit by the X marks of spot. I don't know if they're in the winning position though. Creep wave. They will get Carl. Amar still alive, but Crystalis might not be so lucky. He's brought down by the Vendetta. White Mon takes the kill. And they also hit Amar with the Fey Bomb, which means they now see him. Enough time to get that Sprout off. And the Athos as well, guaranteeing the kill on Amar the Friendly. Wicked Six Streak going the way of T1. And Deuce is still alive in this engagement. Oh, they killed Whiteman though with a Shadow Blade crit. <laughs> <laughs> and now he TPs in the middle of this. They can't stop this. Oh, he actually stopped it himself. It's fine. It's they think of kind of initiating. Fiend's grip in three seconds. But we did use a sinister gaze. Fishman has to survive the gaze. At least Fishman. Glimmer cape. But they see him thanks to the Athos. They don't need any vision. Fishman saving himself with a bit of healing from the brain sap. The Sprat actually working against them. And they torn the Dusa. She's out of mana. They could go for 23 Savage. But, but BZM lacks the consistent damage. I mean, I think what they understand, though, is that I, one thing I really like about T1 is that they knew they could beat a drought twice there. And they, they took their chances because of that. And they actually got a kill that they probably weren't expecting to. Now, they also find Amar. Oh, the tip comes out from oh, Carl. No, oh, the blink! Oh, with a Gleipnir, they can catch up to him. That Glimmer Cape is not going to be enough to save him. They have no stuns here to cancel his TP, so he's capable of TPing away. Wow, but they got okay. Amar, and Carl, <laughs> he's leading this charge with the, with the Treants. He has a Yul Scepter, one last tree, slightly body blocking Fishman, and they will find him. That's a dead Bane here. So yeah, you're right. Uh, that, that makes it difficult for them to actually beat the Dusa. I think the supporting cast for T1 is also doing a really good job here. And they're taking the right fights. Um, did I say this though? Maybe Chuvash. Hit by the Wrath of Nature. Fissure oh, kind of used defensively here. Oh, Amar? Who <laughs> Amar, you're crazy. Unless 22 Savage might be crazier. Is this Carl I'm watching or 23 Savage? He's apparently gonna fight to the death here. There's no Stone Gaze. They need to help him somehow. There's the Rolling Thunder. That's gonna be a bit of help. But the Fiend Script catches him. And is that gonna be enough to finish him off? They don't have the damage just yet from the Threat which is tagging through all of this. The Torrent included. Finally, though, they'll be able to bring down the Tanky Dusa as Crystalis falls, however, to the secondary cores. There's Cuckoo and Carl. They're also gonna be able to find BZM God. 
And BZM, no longer a god, but a dead mortal. Amar, also in trouble. They break the sprout immediately. They glaive near him. Amar has the timber chain. Will be able to find the farthest tree away from him. Has not been solved with a lucky shot, but his armor's been reduced. And that might just be yeah. enough. He gets one more kill into Cuckoo, though. Amar's still alive. Amar getting out of this one. And we still have an Echo Slam for Chuvash. He has to be careful. Zephyr doesn't, can't get close. There's the Echo Slam used. They oh tear my through Carl. God. Creep Wave actually turned this around. I think this Roche like, has to be Creep Wave, or else this game might just snowball out of control. Mm, white one. We'll find him with a Fissure. And that's going to be a dead Nyx. Not that big a deal, but at least you get rid of the Scout, which might no give you a chance to go for Savage here. Savage, once again, he's playing really aggressively. This might be the same play as before, but will it succeed a second time? Or did he even succeed the first time? There's a Rolling Thunder, the counter initiation's here, and Carl with a BKB, he's bringing down Crystalis. Crystalis doesn't last at all against Carl. This time, T1 knew exactly what they were hoping for, baited out the Dusa, and got the kill on Crystalis. Jeffer deciding to roleplay as an armadillo. That's not going to help him. Cuckoo now trying to run away. Wrath of Nature has to sprout. Glaive near himself, but he's still dead. Okay, so there is buyback on P. They could still go for the buyback and protect Roche if he won. Deems that's important. Oh, Zephyr. Mm, they bring down Zephyr, so at least a small kill here. Like, we don't usually see Konka setting up that much tempo these days anymore. He's just a tank. They don't actually set up kills. Shadowblade helps you a lot there. True, true. No. Punch, uh, BZM using that BKB. White Mon's the target, destroyed by the ghost ship. Amar still tanking the two so damage. He's a hex, by the way. Oh, oh but it put Crystalis up to the high Chris ground. Easy. Swashbuckle. They, he does have the Aegis, though. Has the Hurricane Pike to get down, so he's choosing to stay here. And the Fiend Script will actually catch 23 Savage. He's out of mana because the Fiend Script's active. And that's going to be a dead Dusa for Creep Wave. But if mm. someone has to just waste a Presti attack or a False Promise or whatever from range, that's not that big a deal. As we get into the fight, by the way. Uh, BKB from Carl. He doesn't want to get stopped. Oh, Nightmare. Actually, saved Crystals from a bit of damage, but that's not going to be enough. He has no H any longer. And 23 Savage is here to fight. Amar gets rid of the Sprout, though, with the Whirling Death, capable of Timber Chaining himself to safety, but they have lost their carry. They forced a buyback. That's all they could do. Uh, 23 Savage. He has a mark on his back. If he dies again, things get super ugly. Because I don't feel like, you know, they, they might just get a tier 2. Oh, maybe if uh, the Timber dies, they can get more. Okay. Chadmar, can There's you die? Mar. Uh, yeah, he's gonna die. That's gonna be a really good kill for T1. Oh, oh maybe not. Yules, find the splitter. Right. Okay, Amar. Yeah, he's finally gonna fall. They had the Scotty, even with the Hex there. That was just too strong. I'm waiting, Kip. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll read it later. He, she might be writing this right now, so don't you don't have to <laughs> wait that much. Carl. Oh, Carl. There's the BKB, plus Bloodstone activated, and Amar in the wrong position. Amar! He thought too highly of himself, he's gonna be blown up. Together with Crystals as well, easy two kills for T1. Cuckoo becoming powerful, as now they find the Earthshaker. Yeah, sure, you have an Echo Slam, but no chance to use it. The strong Earthbender is going to be the Leshrac. T1 takes down four. Can you imagine if you were hit by Scotty, and then you... you oh, never mind. They found okay. Fishman, he's super valuable. Carl jumps over him. Fishman, he's not gonna be able to use the Fiend Script this fight because he's been turned to stone and promptly shattered. They're gonna bring down Fishman. 100 seconds without your fish. What are you gonna do? They still have damage, but not as much control. And in fact, Carl wants more. He sees Amar, but Amar's a bit too tanky. The Fisher will hit him, but 23 Savage is only interested in one thing. And those are the racks. They do actually get Crystalis though. Double Yules. That didn't set up for the Split Earth, so that actually stopped the Mystic Snake as well. Not ideal here. Winnie 3 Savage only thinks about one thing, and it's disgusting. And it's your barracks. <laughs> oh no, Amar. And actually, it's gonna be Crystalis, because Dusa is playing like a melee carry, and it's working out! That's why Crystal is dead, he has buyback though, but if they kill the Kunk on top of this, it's gonna be pretty major. The Fissure helping them out ever so slightly, they do burst down Cuckoo quickly. But that's in exchange for the Kunkka, and Kuku also has his own buyback and the TP. Age is still on 23 Savage. We have an Echo Slam Preserve. Crystal is coming back into the fray. He has his own Blink Dagger, but he can't blink that closer to the Dusa. And the end is going to be Jeffer who falls as Amar also dies there. Mm. This might just be Mega Salvo. Uh, we do see a Fiend Script here on Kuku. 
Oh. Okay. And. Oh. Interesting. Nyx Assassin. Yeah. 23 Savage. Okay, they hit him with a ghost ship. Active 4%, by the way, for Witch Pain. I know I saw the corrections. I don't see the same screen as you guys. I can't get to read the items. I'm sorry. Uh, we do have the Stone Gates available here for 23 Savage. And he's just going to walk forward. Cuckoo, Glade Nair. Pretty big Glade oh. Nair. But they need some follow up. And, and the low ground is harder for 23 Savage to hit. Amar is trying to create some space for them. And Savage, at least he does with the refresher, though. Has a second Stone Gaze. Activates it immediately. Where's the Stone Gaze, though? That's all we need. He's been put to sleep. 14 seconds Waking for Roche. Up from this nightmare. That's going to be ages. Oh, they're waiting. They're trying to calculate it. That's a bit more damage, oh. but they don't want to give him that free life. They don't want to give oh. him that free healing. They turn him into a pig. A bit more time. The nightmare. The Aegis is going to be expired any second. And they're going to cancel it immediately. They're the torrent. They keep him stunned. Ooh. Aegis is gone. Time to kill Savage. Beautiful. Wow, that's so good. At the same time, though, Fishman does die. Jeffer in trouble. They silence him. Jeffer, Yul Scepter. Up in the air. Silenced. Stunned as well, but doesn't matter because it's the X marks the spot that will send him to his death. It's also all of SCA pretty much that is supporting T1. They they are oh. unjinxable. Look at this. Unjinxable as they kill Fishman. Go Scepter for Nyx. That's going to help him out against Crystals. BKB. Activate Crystals though. His objective is actually Carl, not to kill Whitemon. And Carl is much more valuable. Carl trying to survive. Going to get hit by the Silver Edge. Not going to get that oh. chance. In fact, they also finish off Whitemon. 300 ping. They are playing in Europe. <laughs> they have the exact same ping. Please be respectful <laughs> to Creep Wave. Creep Wave is playing a good game. Uh, so is T1. White Mon. There you go. Gust. Pig. Oh, stop Savage, oh. but Savage doesn't care. Savage just wants Fishman. They know they gotta get rid of that Fiend script first. What a blink. And they're gonna try to find Chu instead. Hansha. Is he capable of getting away? BZM. Not for now. Fishman's being chased down though by Carl. And maybe they might have just found their Dusa. The ghost ships. No, this is too tanky. Even with all the hexes, they need the damage. They need someone there. They kill off Whitemon in the back lines. The Pony Savage is fighting to the death. Cuckoo in the back lines as well. Finishing off BCM. They still wanted Fishman, but Fishman is a bit too slippery. However, Crystal has died, which is a win for you anyway. Carl does manage to kill off Fishman finally. And Chubashu even dies in front. Oof. This should be GG. I don't think Creep Wave stands a chance any longer. They have no buybacks in any of these heroes, and the Dusa is just too strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think you're totally right. The, the the problem this game is that even though Creep Wave got a lot of, uh, like, they got a really good early game, they destroyed the lanes, they got that early Roche, I don't think they used the, the advantage as well as they should have. And tier one being as good as they are, they made sure to capitalize on those kind of small mistakes that Creepwave did. You know, they pushed tier two you know, with the ages about to expire.